Welcome to our Chinese Adventure YouTube channel and greetings from Singapore. We arrived just a couple hours ago at the Changi Airport. This place is a very nice place. And if it looks like we just spent 11 hours on a plane ride, that's because we did. <laughs> we are lacking sleep, but we've got a 12 hour layover here in Singapore and we want to check it out. And we are here at the Gardens by the Bay. They've got these amazing metal trees on just, wait, hang on a second. These are the amazing metal trees. There's this huge dome over here as well. These things are pretty huge. They're giant, aren't they, bud? <laughs> oh, bless Mom. you. We're gonna go explore here at the Gardens by the Bay and bring you guys along, so let's go. Here we're at the Super Tree Observatory. You can go all the way up this tree, and at the top, there's an observatory. But what we're looking to do is go on this OCBC, or OB, yeah, OCBC Skyway which is this bridge that goes from one tree to another, but we're not sure how to get up there yet. And behind there, you can see that that's the famous hotel. At the top, there's the world's longest infinity pool. You can't see it from here, obviously, but that's where it is. Skyway for two adults and two kids. Okay, we found a ticket counter. It's 14 per adult and 10 per kid. So we're gonna make our way up to the OCBC Skyway and check out the views. Hello, how are you? What do you think, sis? It's nice and the weather's fine. I like it up here, but Bobby really wants to go way up there. To the observatory? What is that? What's an observatory? Well, it's kind of like where we're at now, except for it's much higher and there's a glass, so you can see all the way around it more. And the highest point's the observatory up here, but you can see a lot from here. We're up pretty high. Let's check out some of the views. There's a huge flower garden that we'll get to see at the end, it looks like. Man, this hotel out the back, that's crazy. You get some pretty good views of the skyline up here. It's a little shaky. It's suspended by these cables. Oh, that's it. It's a suspension bridge. Did my dad mention this? The flower festival? The flowers are right over I there. I mentioned we'd get a view of it at the end. Look, our br the bridge goes all the way over, and then it stops at the end there. I think we'll get a better view of it over there. Okay. It's cool, but it's scary for me. I feel like we're about to like crash down. It's a little shaky, huh? A little wobbly. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty sure it's safe, baby girl. Yeah. And you're being brave. What do you think, babe? I think it's pretty cool. I'm glad we came up here. It's really nice here. I'm pleasantly surprised. Singapore wasn't really at the top of our list of visiting to stay for a while, but I think we will have to make a trip back after visiting today because it's nice here. It's it's kind of hot, but all of Southeast Asia is pretty hot. How cool would it be to be like in the middle of that elevator? Imagine like where we were inside the elevator, when the walls were there. When we came up? Yeah, I wonder when this stuff was built. Maybe in the next, maybe in the 1965? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure there's information we can find out, bud. Maybe. So are you guessing 1965? Yeah. When was it built? So we just looked it up and it indeed was 1965. What? Just kidding. 2012. <laughs> All right, I was close, 2010. Let's check out this awesome epic flower bed of the two dragons with moving eyes. There's some people down there so you can see for scale how large it is. Oh, that was sweet. What'd you think about the Skybird, sis? It was cool. Yeah, it was cool. I like your bracelet. That was very kind of her. All right, you guys wanna go see if we can check out the cloud dome? Yes. Let's go. It's called a cloud forest. Oh, cloud forest, my bad. My mom was right. It was 2012. You got my the hiccups? Mom was correct. <laughs> you had a pretty good guess, though. I know. What do you think about the flowers? They're pretty cool. That's all I give them. Just are pretty cool. Pretty cool. We want to go check out the cloud forest. On our way over, we've come by the Jurassic Nest Cafe. This is cool. They've got some dinosaurs set up, and the inside looks really cool, too. This place is really cool. If you're coming to Gardens at the Bay, be sure to stop in at the Jurassic Nest Food Hall. They have some Thai food, Indian, some pizza, some Malaysian food, nasi lemak. I'm excited to eat that this week. Japanese food and the Hawker Chan, which we did not know was here. It is the world's first Hawker awarded one Michelin star. I think we're gonna have to try some of this while we're here. I told Nicole to just go order something for us to try it out. I have no idea what she's ordered yet. 
Oh, I still can't see what she's got. Noodles and chicken. Noodles? Are you guys gonna eat some? Sorry, you gonna eat some? Uh oh, let's see what she's got. Whoa. I'm so glad to be back in Asia. All right, it looks super hot, but who's gonna try it first? Oh, Nicole's gonna go first. Which kid's gonna try it first? Amy? You gonna try it, baby? Let's let it cool off first and then we'll all try it. I'm gonna first try the duck and then the noodles. What about if we try it together? Okay. All right, sis, you're gonna get to try it first. So are you gonna try it, bud? Duck, duck. Maybe you'll start to quack after you eat it. I love it. I you love, love it? it. Quack. All right. I think I gotta keep trying. All right. I wanna try it real quick. I need more duck. All right, let's do this. We got some noodles. We got what is that? Some greens. We got the duck. We got some dipping sauces, and there's some sauce on the duck. Let's get some noodles first. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's been so long, it seems. Oh, you smell that? Smell it. Mmm, smell it, bud. Oh, and then we're gonna get some duck meat. Let's do this. Now he's gonna start saying quack quack. Mmm. It does have some bone, a little bone in it. But you gotta be careful there. That sauce is really good. Oh, the duck meat is so soft, so tender. I'm not sharing this anymore, guys. What? Just kidding. We'll share it. This is really, really good. I can see why it is a Michelin star restaurant. A hawker stand. Can you imagine? All right, let's eat it, guys. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to try these noodles with the sauce. All right. The duck is actually kind of cold, but the noodles are warm. So if you put it together, it has a nice temperature to it. I didn't get to try the green jet. Okay, I have a nice... There you go. Twirl some there on your fork, and then take take a bite of the noodles. I thought the saucy was gonna be Once bad. you get a mouthful of the noodles, bite off the noodles, and then grab you some duck meat. Get that in your mouth, and then bite it off. There you go, bite it. Or slurp it. <laughs> All right, get you some duck meat. You gotta get some meat in there with it. Oh yeah, there we go. Good, yeah? All right. Oh, that was really good. Some noodles and duck. Now we're gonna continue to make our way over and check out the cloud forest. Not 100% sure if we're gonna go in yet, but we do wanna check it out and see what it's all about. It's supposed to be pretty cool, but let's go see if, how much the tickets are and if we are gonna go in or not. So tickets for just the cloud forest, quite a bit more than the OCBC Skyway. It's 24 for adults and 15 for kids, three to 12. Let's see if we can get a peek inside. I'm not sure if we wanna go inside or not. Uh, but I think there's gonna be too much reflection on the glass here. Oh wow, look at those guys. Those are wood carvings, like from trees. We've decided since we're already here, might as well see it while we can. So Nicole's gonna go buy some tickets and then we're gonna go in and check out the cloud for us. The pictures and other videos that we've seen, it looks amazing, but we'll go check it out for ourselves. Like I mentioned, we're only here for about 12 hours for our layover. Here at Gardens by the Bay, they got these lockers that you can rent to put your luggage, which is very convenient, so we don't have to haul that around while we're exploring. Those are four Singaporean dollars for 21 hours for the small lockers and eight dollars for the large lockers. We had two good-sized carry-ons, so we got two of the big lockers, and that'll last us while we're here. Sawyer's gonna play us some music on the piano. All set? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, now we get to check out these wood sculptures some more. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. All right, we're almost there. We came downstairs. I can feel a 10 to 15 degree temperature drop. Wow, it's so much cooler down here. It's probably gonna be much cooler inside. Let's go check it out. Thank you. All right, let's go check it out, guys. It feels very nice, huh? Awesome, huh? Yeah, what a wow moment just coming in here and seeing this. So awesome. What do you think, guys? It's amazing, and it's the short clouds are gonna come. You think so? Yeah. No, day no, minute. No, day minute. It feels awesome in here. We could feel it as we were walking through. 
but now that we're in here, it feels perfect. You know, there's different levels that you can go check out, so we're gonna go inside and go up each level and, and see what's up there. There's a lot of mist that comes off the falls. I am completely soaked. Oh, you got soaked? You don't get soaked, but it is a nice feeling. You get all that mist on you, it cools you off. There's like a little balcony. You want to make our way up there? Yeah, I think yeah. I think you have to start from over here. And those are pretty nice. Things. Yeah, it's look, so beautiful in here. Like There's flowers like, all the way up like the side. Oh, it's like, like a weeping willow tree. Cashmere cypress. There's so much vegetation in here. It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. Got more of these cool wood sculptures all throughout. Oh, this is so cool. This is probably the coolest thing I've seen in here so far. Look at this carving. That's awesome. There's a bit of a cube. We're gonna take the lift all the way up to level six. Supposedly once an hour, there's a large mist that happens, which is the cloud. Hoping we don't miss that, because that's like part of the special thing that happens in here, but hopefully we'll catch it on our way up or while we're up there checking things out. Come on, guys. Oh, just as we come out the top. Oh, look, you can see it happening. So you have these misting machines that come out and just makes it like a big cloud in here. We're gonna start our climb up to the lost world. I don't know what that entails, but let's go find out. You guys ready? Oh, this is the lost world. Wow, look at that spider up there. Guys, these are carnivorous plants. Cool. Venus flytraps. Why does that do? It sucks them in like that? Exactly, bud. Look, it says, please do not touch the carnivorous plants or you will be fed to them. Now we're going on the cloud walk. I don't know if this is always misty or if it's just now because it's the misting time, but it's like being in a cloud. The views from in here are awesome too because you've got this huge glass enclosure, but you can see all the way around you. All right, that was cool. Now let's go to Crystal Mountain, which is this way. Let's go find out. They have lots of these little kiosks with information about clouds and the sky and all kinds of stuff. Great education opportunities for the kids. These are all in English. Oh, look, guys, the crystals. It can take a cloud forest 200 to 300 years to become mature, longer than other tropical forests. That's pretty cool. I wasn't aware what all this was about, but it is essentially mimicking the natural habitat of a cloud forest. Basically, the habitat that would get created in the right conditions up the side of a mountain. There's lots of information on the kiosk here, so if you're interested in all of that, be sure to stop by and read each one. There is the waterfall view. We're gonna stop by and check this out. Whoa, this is right next to the waterfall. Lots of mist coming off. Feels great. Now we're gonna enter the treetop walk. Let's go see it. Treetop walk is very fitting. We're at the top of the trees. You get to do quite a bit of walking here, actually. The platform's wrap and twist all the way from the top around the side to the middle all the way down to the bottom so it's a nice little walk last stop at the bottom is the cloud forest gallery this has some cool things set up learning more about science and educational pieces oh there is one final stop the secret garden the orchid garden is right before this but it's closed for a private event but we still get to check out this awesome view Isn't that cool how they have the magnifying glass there? Oh, through the circle. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. I can. Hang on, I'll come, I'll take you out too. Ever should ever make out my pet. Ever should ever make out my pet. And our final door, the lion door, is our exit. Thank you for joining us on our trip here to Singapore, here at Gardens by the Bay. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if you want to follow along our adventures as we travel around the world, be sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.
ください。